Hey guys, um, in my video before I said that I was going to Japan. So I know the main question is, why am I going to Japan? Well, the reason I'm going to Japan is because I just fell in love with the culture. But I know everyone's asking me, well, how did I fall in love with the culture? Um, I want to say it started with the anime, but I'm not really even sure to tell you the truth. It's kind of a mixture of the anime, also the, um, the language. I started watching a lot of vloggers on YouTube who live in Japan, and I watched their videos, and it made me want to go to Japan even more, because I started seeing, in their videos, like, I started seeing the culture, like, the food they would eat, the clothes they would wear, the technology, the lifestyle, just everything. So that kind of made me want to go to Japan. And um, also, I knew a little bit um, how to speak Japanese. I knew like a couple of words I was teaching myself. I'm still kind of teaching myself, but since then I wanted to even speak the language more. So I started going to classes in Manhattan. It's a language exchange program where we would just exchange English and Japanese. And once I got there, there was um, two tables. There's a beginner's table and there's a beginner's table which is more advanced. I didn't know this, but um, I went to the first beginner's table, and it was it was like introductions, so it wasn't that hard because I understood some of them already. But then the next time I went to the class, I went to the second table, which was beginners advanced, which I didn't know. I thought it was just both beginners, and um, we started learning hiragana, and that's it like threw me for a loop because I didn't know one bit of hiragana. And everybody else around me, they they knew it, and so it kind of motivated me to learn it even more because I don't like, you know, being like, I guess far behind. I mean, I want to be on the same level as everybody else. So, after the class, the lady, the instructor, she gave me a chart. I took that chart home and I studied that chart for about two weeks, and in about two weeks or two and a half weeks, I learned the um, the hiragana. I could have learned it quicker, but I kind of slowed down a little bit. But um, it wasn't that hard. It was actually pretty simple. There's like about 80 characters or more. But I learned the hiragana, and it helped me even understand the language even more, like the writing and the speaking. So I mean, it helped me improve my Japanese. And um, so hopefully, when I do go to Japan, I could be able to speak a little bit with um, some of the, the locals there. And um, so that's the, that's one of the reasons why I want to go to Japan. Because I just fell in love with the language, which made me fall in love with the whole culture together. And I want to experience life outside. Because I mean, I've been other places, but I haven't been to Japan. I've been to Europe before. I've been to London, France, Germany, and Switzerland. And I've been to Jamaica. I never been to Japan, so hopefully this will be a good experience and I hope you guys enjoy my videos.